the deputy superintendent in charge of business and operations for the Verona Area School District. This is a quick screencast to run down uh, a high-level summary of our budget priorities for the 23-24 fiscal year um, and related property tax bills that many of our uh, residents have received over the last week. I'd like to start by just going through some of the things we accomplished uh, as a school district and eventually our uh, Board of Education uh, passed into our 23-24 budget. Uh, we uh, had priorities set up uh, that we worked on for the entire uh, fiscal year leading up to this past budget that did include uh, getting our mill rate to um, a, a recently historical low number uh, of 1111 and we'll go through what mill rate means a little bit later but we have steadily taken our mill rate down uh, over the last three years in, a, in, in an environment where we we're, we're faced with uh, high inflation and cost of doing business on our end but also recognize that uh, taxpayers um, are running into those same challenges um, in terms of paying their own bills. We also made sure we reserved uh, money to continue to manage debt related primarily to uh, the recently passed referendum for the new high school. We reserved some added Fontaine authority from our recurring operating referendum, uh, and we uh, increased staffing uh, in line with our Board of Education results policy uh, to um, also uh, appropriately compensate our, our hardworking teaching staff. Um, I will be uh, kind of walking us through a few things on uh, a property tax bill. This happens to be a bill uh, for um, a property that we recently purchased uh, for uh, what will eventually become a, a second high school uh, in our growing school district. Uh, I did want to point out a few things on this bill, and I'll, cur I'll use my cursor to kind of point them out. Uh, a few things that we've been getting question on, questions on, and I know both the city of Fitchburg and Verona have had questions on, uh, have to do with the difference between assessed value and total fair market value as it relates to school property taxes. Also, we're going to go through and highlight uh, the increase of the school levy credit that uh, all, of our, uh, all of our taxpayers should see on tax bills this year. Back to this fair market value. This has uh, been a, um, a big driver of uh, what happened with property taxes both uh, in the city of Verona, our other municipalities, and the city of Fitchburg, which did see a uh, larger than average increase on their fair market value pricing uh, or equalized value pricing uh, this fiscal year when it came to property tax bills. Here's a chart uh, that goes through um, our increase of uh, equalized property value district-wide. Uh, you can see that our district has gone uh, just in the past two years to nearly $7 billion of property value district-wide uh, and had an increase of $700 million just this last year. Uh, a large portion of that increase was actually the city of Fitchburg, uh, where we saw um, an increase of uh, 17, almost 18% uh, of uh, equalized property value uh, in the city of Fitchburg alone. Uh, and what that means is on average, uh, folks in the city of Fitchburg uh, saw their fair market value or equalized value uh, go up um, to the tune of almost 18% uh, in just one year. Uh, that means in the eyes of the Department of Revenue, uh, properties uh, in the city of Fitchburg um, are more valuable uh, in a year uh, when they're compared to the other properties uh, in the municipalities that uh, all feed into the Verona Area School District. And this is a big driver of what, what ends up happening with property taxes. Uh, in general, as we go back to this slide, uh, as this number uh, increases uh, at a greater rate uh, than what we increased our levy, uh, you will see um, an increase in your property taxes, uh, and that, that did happen in the city of Fitchburg this year. Back to equalized property value or that fair market value. Uh, equalized property value is a measure used to distribute uh, the property tax burden fairly among different municipalities and all the way across the state of Wisconsin. Uh, this is a number not set by your municipalities, 
but a number set by the Department of Revenue that then our municipalities have to apply to property tax bills. I mentioned that school levy credit, and I'll go back here. Here's where you can find that on your property tax bill. Uh, we took uh, a, um, a, a big increase in that school levy credit. That's money that comes off your school property tax bills into account when we passed this last budget um, as a school district and as a school board. And that school levy credit uh, is um, set by the state in an effort to relieve uh, taxpayers uh, in terms of the taxing burden coming from uh, our local property tax base. Uh, and this number increased drastically at the state level this last year. And we took that into account. So you can see just in our school district, uh, the state of Wisconsin contributed an additional $3.3 million to that school levy credit tax line uh, that was distributed to property taxpayers in our school district. Uh, and that number actually increased more uh, than the amount of money we get in state aid uh, as a state. Here you can see um, uh, a graphic that we worked through with our school board prior to passing the budget uh, in an effort to do what we could to make the average tax impact uh, of uh, a taxpayer in our school district uh, actually come out even. Uh, and the way we did that, uh, we raised our levy 8.6%, uh, which means uh, the amount of money uh, taxpayers are contributing to our school district locally uh, went up 8.6% uh, in this last year. Uh, but we, uh, we uh, believe the math here uh, is correct in the fact that 3.72% uh, of that was covered by new property tax owners. So you can see up here uh, the asterisk that, uh, that we noted uh, when it comes to uh, increased property valuation for our district. 3.7% uh, of the new 11.5% was actually covered by uh, new property taxpayers or new properties uh, to our school district and would not be an additional burden uh, to our local property taxpayers. Additionally, we also took into account uh, that $3.3 million uh, that was added to uh, property tax relief uh, in the form of that school levy credit that it did increase on all property tax bills uh, this last school year uh, for a net 0% uh, average tax impact for our property taxpayers. So many property taxpayers in our school district will actually have their tax bills, at least the portion, the Verona portion, Verona Area School District portion of your tax bill uh, could be flat. Uh, we are um, certainly hearing from folks in the city of Verona uh, that actually saw their portion of tax bill go down. And we're here also hearing from uh, residents in the city of Fitchburg that saw their property taxes go up uh, on that line that uh, notes what happened with property taxes paid to the Verona area school district. All related to that, uh, that equalized value. Wanted to make sure we shared this graphic because our school board and our school district has continued to do what we can uh, to um, keep our taxing rate uh, in check. And you can see here, uh, all the way back to 2010, uh, our mill rate has been uh, at 12 or well above 12, uh, almost in the area of 13 uh, um, historically here. Um, and over the last three years, we've taken that mill rate from 1264 to 1111. And again, that's the amount of money paid uh, for $1,000 in property value uh, in the Verona Area School District. Back to this tax bill. Again, wanted to reiterate that uh, there are um, members of our school district community uh, that could see this as a 0% or even a minus percent, uh, all dependent on that fair market value price that is set by the Department of Revenue uh, on an annual basis. Uh, and we did see um, a wide range of uh, increases uh, in our municipalities this last year uh, and wanted to make sure folks had an understanding of that. 
I'll leave you today, and we will uh, actually link all of these resources to our website. Uh, these are other really nice resources. The City of Verona has a, a page that uh, lays out tax information. City of Fitchburg also has one. Uh, and the City of Fitchburg actually has a, a really nice, longer, detailed uh, explanation of how to interpret your tax bill. Um, and here uh, is a, um, a FAQ uh, put on by county treasurers that I think is also a valuable resource. Uh, so I will leave you with that. Don't uh, hesitate to contact the Verona Area School District uh, if you've got any questions regarding your tax bill. Um, and I know our municipalities uh, welcome uh, phone calls and emails if there's questions as well. Uh, thank you for taking this time uh, to go through uh, a brief overview of our budget priorities and tax bill. And again, don't hesitate to contact the school district if you've got uh, any questions at all. Thank you.